Good afternoon everybody, my name is Wes Davies and welcome back to another video. I have reached Hualien County. I've reached the east coast of Taiwan, which is of course known for having absolutely gorgeous coastlines, mountains, scenic drives, everything you could possibly want for in a drive in Taiwan. I'm so happy to be here. Last time I caught up with you guys, I was in Qishan in Taidong County. And since then, I kept on driving up the Central Rift Valley and then I cut across Road 30. Now, if you ever want to do this drive, I highly recommend you take that road because it was honestly one of the most beautiful drives I've ever experienced in my life. And, I mean, this whole day basically has been the best driving I've ever experienced. You're just driving firstly through that central valley, mountains on either side of you, and then you cut into Route 30, and you just keep going up, 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 and the drive just gets more and more beautiful. I just wanted to stop every single second along the way, but obviously I have a big drive ahead of me today. And if that wasn't enough, suddenly you just punch through this huge, long tunnel, and then you are on the east coast of Taiwan, which as you can see is just breathtaking. I mean, you couldn't ask for scenery this beautiful. Uh, I just can't even believe it. All day long, I've just been flabbergasted with the natural beauty and the scenery here on the east coast of Taiwan. I highly recommend it to anyone looking to go for a vacation. Obviously, it's a little difficult to travel internationally right now, but hey, Taiwan is big enough and beautiful enough that you can just come out to places like this and have an absolute blast. I'm just going to sit here for a couple minutes, take a rest, it's been a long day on the scooter, and then I will just keep on driving that way toward Hualien. I put in another couple hours of driving and as you can see the scenery hasn't got any less beautiful. Uh, I'm almost at Hualien City, maybe another 30-40 kilometers and then I'm gonna check into my hotel which looks really really nice. I will tell you about that when I get there. Uh, I'm just gonna walk around this little park here and just enjoy uh, the sun before it heads back down over those mountains. I think we've got a few minutes of sunlight left which is probably good for me considering my arms are just getting absolutely destroyed today. Even though I've been applying and reapplying sunscreen all day long, I can just feel this is gonna be a, a tough day tomorrow. But honestly, this is what I think about when I picture the East Coast, when I picture Hualien, when I picture doing this uh, Highway 11 drive, this is exactly what I picture right here. Just the mountains descending, right into the ocean. This is picture perfect. All right, I'm just gonna hop back on my scooter and keep on driving. Just making a quick little stop here. Uh, it's a long drive, let me tell you. Beautiful, gorgeous, but very, very long. I mean, I started way down in Taidong, coming all the way up to Hualien. On the map, sometimes you can't really tell, especially when you're on a scooter. Uh, there's this beautiful red bridge that goes across this canyon. I, I think I've said the word beautiful about 25 times today. I'm sorry about that. I've probably also said spectacular and gorgeous. Uh, probably have to get used to that when we're talking about the East Coast. Hello everybody, welcome back to my second day here in Hualien. And you might think I'm in a park, but actually I'm right down the street from where I'm staying tonight. I'll show you the hotel a little bit later, but let me just show you around here at Yun Shan Shui. Actually, I think it is quite rare to have an area like this in Taiwan. It really reminds me of back home where I grew up in Owen Sound, Ontario. I mean, I'm standing amongst what look to be cedar trees, there's a little dam just over there with clear water flowing through it. I'm in a forest, there are ferns everywhere. I mean, I might as well be back home in Ontario right now. This is kind of making me feel a little bit homesick. And obviously, I'm not the only one who seems to be enjoying this place. Uh, in fact, there's people who have built houses, 
hotels and villas. And I will show you where I'm staying later. You're going to be very, very impressed. So just like in Taidong, up here in Hualien, it seems like the rice is also coming into season. As you can see behind me, it's nice golden brown and you can't beat the scenery just leading right up to that amazing mountain range. I'm trying not to say beautiful so often because I know I've said that so many times in this video already. All right, I've just entered into this private section of the Yunshan Shui, and this is usually, I think, 50 NT to enter, but anyone who stays at the Bear Forest Resort, you just show them the key at the door, and they will let you in totally for free. And I also heard that during the winter time, all of these trees actually turn red, which that would be something that reminds me of Canada, because you often don't see that much in Taiwan. So I'm just gonna walk around this little pond here, uh, it looks exactly like where I grew up in Harrison Park. This has just been uh, such a special treat for me today. So this is Bear Forest. And as you can see, when you look around, you'll start to notice a, a slight bear theme almost everywhere you look. It's very cute and they actually gave me a small gift which is an unbelievably good quality stuffed bear which I will cherish forever. Uh, let me just show you my room here. Okay, so when you first walk in, you have a very, very good sized living room complete with many, many good sized bears and some bear artwork. This is where I've been doing most of my editing work, so that's been really, really nice. And then if you step this way into the hallway, you can see this place is very, very spacious. Beautiful backyard. This is the villa style, so you have this all to yourself. There is a pool there with working hot and cold water. As I mentioned, this is the little friend that they give all the guests who stay here. Very, very nice, spacious bathroom. Uh, don't worry about the window, you can definitely close the curtains. Nice big walk-in shower. His and her bathroom. So, you know, you come here with your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your family, you got lots and lots of room. And then this is where I have been sleeping. You have another window into the backyard, so you get tons and tons of light. And then for families or groups of friends, you have another whole bedroom here. So this is, I mean, I haven't even touched this room. Look how spacious this place is. I mean, you could easily just get a whole bunch of your friends come here and have a relaxing, wonderful time. So I have to say, it's been absolutely wonderful spending a few days here at the Bear Forest. I have to thank them so, so much for putting me up putting up with me, letting me explore the premises, and I especially enjoyed exploring the surrounding area. It was very, very special to be here. Perfect if you're somebody who likes the outdoors, maybe you wanna check out Hualien County, the countryside a little bit, or if you just wanna have a really relaxing time with your loved one, your family, or even just like me, by myself. I got a lot of work done here and just recharged my battery out here at Bear Forest. All right, just came here to the Hualien Night Market for some late night treats, and uh, I came across a stall that was selling what can only be described as Taiwanese burritos. Check this out. So of course I chose the Yang Ro version, the lamb, and it was really interesting the way they created this. He had a big skillet and fried the dough, put the egg on top, and it, it almost turns out a little bit like nan bread. Sort of crispy and oily, it looks really, really nice. So I'm just gonna give this a big old bite here. That's good. It's really good. Mm. That is actually very delicious. The lamb is kind of saucy and a bit of a gravy. I can taste the egg and some chives in there as well. This is extremely delicious. Wow, that's, that's good.
All right, I've got to say, this night market is probably one of the best ones I've been to in Taiwan. This is in Huali, and maybe because it's more touristy, this night market in particular, there's probably over a hundred different stalls, all kinds of games, a huge Aboriginal influence. To celebrate that fact, I got some Xiaomi Jo, which is an Aboriginal drink here in Taiwan. It's a millet wine, and it looks very refreshing. So, Wow, that's a lot stronger than I thought it was going to be. I can really taste that wine in there. That's good, that's really nice. We're just waiting for a little bit of corn. Uh, we've got some quail barbecuing around the corner. So I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy my uh, Xiaomi Jo for a couple minutes and I'll catch up with you in a little bit. All right, so last night we came home from the night market and we finished up that delicious quail, barbecued quail and this barbecued fatty pork from that Aboriginal restaurant. So now it is Saturday morning. Today I have to drive to Elan, but first the hotel has told me that they have a special surprise waiting for me. I think I have an idea what it is. If, if it is what I think it is, I cannot wait. I think it's gonna be a once in a lifetime experience. Let's go. They say in Kaohsiung, when you can see the mountain, you can see the mountain. But in Hualien, when you can see the mountain, you can actually count the trees. So I thought today, let's go count some trees. A friend of the owner of the Bear Forest Hotel where I'm staying uh, is actually friends with one of the local pilots and he runs a small flight school here. He does flying lessons and he also takes people up to give them a better view of the mountains and the ocean. So when they asked me if I wanted to fly, as nervous as this makes me, I had to say yes, of course. All right, here we go. Getting into the plane. To be honest, I'm a little bit terrified. Shit, shit. <laughs> Is that? You are. Okay. Here goes nothing. Okay, can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. Amazing. We made it back to Earth. Listen, I tell you all. All right, I had a wonderful time at Bear Forest. I want to thank the staff and everybody. They were so kind. And this place is just gorgeous, so peaceful, and I really, really enjoyed my time here. So thank you so much. And I've got all my stuff packed up. I'm gonna hop on my scooter and head up to Elan. All right, Hualien, that was so much fun. I had such an amazing time visiting Hualien County, 
the countryside, seeing the mountains, staying at that wonderful Bear Forest Resort, and of course, flying in that airplane this morning. I will put all the information right down below for both the Bear Forest Hotel and also at the Flying Field. Just follow the link to their Facebook page below. I'm going to keep driving that way. My next stop is Elan. I have to go. I'm going to meet Lucas. We're gonna do some filming today and tomorrow. Thank you so much everybody for following me on this journey. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye guys.